Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm going to do a quick video. I had a guy in the comments of one of my last uh, videos. He asked if I would do a video on how I made my homemade paint booth and how I had it um, running through a shop vac. And I told him I would, so here we go. All right, so the the structure so my countertops are just plywood so it's just plywood on the countertop there's no you know it's just paint it's not going to ruin the wood that much so i i have some had some corrugated plastic let me see if i can get okay so corrugated plastic just like this well you'll see a lot of these convenience stores will have promotional signs outside then the especially the chain stores or the uh, big corporate stores and they just throw those things away left and right they take them down they're made of this corrugated plastic that stuff's very useful so i acquired some of this and that is how uh what i built it out of i'm not you know advising dumpster diving but you know if you go to those you know big name stores a lot of times you look in you just maybe okay just glance into the uh garbage uh dumpster and, and i bet you'll find something anyway regardless that's what I, i've used and i've got it covered up i've got so much stuff here but i just took and just it sags in the middle i know i need i've got some little angle iron that i need to angle iron uh, aluminum angle that i'm going to put in here some little bitty stuff to strengthen it on the sides as well because it bows a little bit it's, it's been here quite a while so yeah, I just made it out of that, screwed it together. And the way you can cut this stuff, it makes like, you know, it bends really well. So if you cut it down the seam. All right, so the question was, how do I plumb it or how do I use my shop vac to evacuate the the uh, paint? And guys, this is a, you know, this is my homemade. This is, I'm not saying this is right. It works pretty good. The purpose being to take out all the fumes and the extra paint and inside my building here, it does that. So I guess, you know, mission accomplished on that one. Again, I have little LED lights, little stick on LEDs. You can use what you want, but I was able to get these uh, through my work. They were throwing, just throwing these wrong, mounted to some old signs and I pulled them off. I like to repurpose things, but here we go with the, with the uh, uh, shop vac. So the shop vac, I have it over in the corner and it just when I turn it on and I go to painting it just sucks everything out so I'm going to show you excuse my dirty floor um, so on my shop vac you have to have a shop vac that has exhaust that you have you can hook a hose to some of these shop vacs they'll have such like vents that you know it comes in but then it blows out a vent that won't work I this shop vac has has a has an exhaust there so as you can see this is a metal shipping container and oh boy is it hard to drill a big hole in there but anyway so again corrugated plastic but i drilled a big hole and then i used that corrugated plastic to seal up around my uh my exhaust so what happens i turn on the shop back it sucks it in the hose it comes around goes in the front there's a bag inside here so it's catching all the particles it's catching all the big pieces of paint and then all the exhaust gases are blowing outside. And that's how I keep, that's how I'm able to paint um, without, you know, really getting a headache. I see some guys, it's like they're doing it inside. I don't know how they do it. I, and I see guys fire up an airbrush, anything. I just, I can't, even if it's just um, acrylic, I don't like to smell it. That's just my personal opinion. So that's it. So it just draws, I've got it back in the back. Uh, another piece of corrugated plastic is what that is. You can't tell because it's so covered, but if I reach down, that's my, that's just a, the, the hose. So it's just stuck through there, goes down, goes into the vacuum, and then the exhaust gases and air. Like I say, there's a bag in there. So I'm not slinging out, you know, or, or choking down the fan inside there with wet paint it's all going into that bag 
which I probably need to change. But anyway, and that's how I do it. And anyway, my paint jobs may not be good, but at least I'm not having to smell the fumes. Hey guys, appreciate you watching. Maybe this helped somebody out. It, it was just a idea that I had, threw it together because I saw those paint booths, you know, you'll sink a hundred, 150 bucks in one of those. I was like, I got some plastic. I've got a vacuum cleaner and I'll make my own. So work good. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. See you.